Hello, Rob here of Seen From Space. This is the Electron Analog 4 and I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on configuring the performance controls. I've programmed a simple sequence on track 1 and I'm going to set up knob A so I can modify the sound in real time during a performance. This is the sequence playing the default sound. If I pr press the perf button, I get this screen. This is a default kit, so you can see all the buttons represented on the display are zeroed and labelled A through J. Now if you hold down the function key and press perf, get performance configure, I say yes for performance consider, uh, configure, and we're going to pick A for knob A. You can, you can see that all the A through J uh, are there in the list. I'm going to press yes. Now this screen takes a bit of getting used to. The level knob to the left of the screen, that's this one here, for the moment becomes our knob A and you can see it's labelled. All the other knobs A to, to J for now are used to program the behaviour of knob A. That's only while you're in this screen, mind. When your settings are saved, knob A becomes itself again. Above the knobs on the display you can see they're all labelled T1, that's track 1. Now if I push click knob A I can select a different destination track. Keep on push clicking and it cycles through the tracks including FX and control voltage. If I want I can set each knob to modify the sounds on any or all of the tracks but that's probably a bit too exciting so we'll stick to having knob A control track 1 only. Now if I turn the upper knob, it opens a list of all the synth parameters that you can scroll through. Now let's try an obvious one like, let's go down to filter 1 and frequency, that, that affects the, the frequency cutoff. Now it's important to push click to, to select it from the, from the menu, I'll just do that again and I, I select it there and push click and you can see it says filt there. You've got only a limited number of characters there but um, uh, it, it's a bit of an indication. Now the lower knob sets the amount that the parameter changes with movements of knob A. Now this is bipolar so you can dial in positive or, or negative values. So let, let's just set any kind of sort of value like that and if I turn the level knob, which will become knob A, remember, it can either open or close the filter. So if I set it running, then you can hear it opening the filter there. If I set this to a negative value, you can hear that, it's, uh, that as I increase knob A, it closes the filter. Let's put that back to, to there and give that a positive value for now. Now, just stop that. If I push click the level knob, my performance control becomes bipolar. You can see the tick in the box there. So the central 12 o'clock position is now zero. And if I twist it this way and that, you can hear how it opens or closes the filter depending on which way I twist it. So I'll set it running. And that's it opening the filter with a positive value and see it closes the filter. Let's set another parameter for tweaking at the same time as the filter one cutoff. Let's go along to the next knob, you can, it's um, already set to track 1, uh, you can see there T1, it's already set to track 1. So let's pick another parameter and I find that, let's go to filter 1 again, I find that envelope filter depth uh, is, is uh, works quite nicely, sort of working against the, the, the filter cutoff. So let's just give that a negative value. So what will happen is that 
as the filter opens, the envelope modulation of the filter becomes flatter, which is quite a nice effect, and vice versa as the filter closes, it becomes more spiky. tweak these values so that they balance each other nicely. Do that to taste. Alright, so let's set another one. Moving on to the third one, you can see it's already set to track one. How about reverb send? I find this works quite nicely. We have to go all the way down to amp and reverb send and push click to select that. And let's, uh, let's give it a positive value for now. So if I increase the value on knob A, it, you can hear it. It becomes wetter as the filter opens. And likewise, it becomes drier if I twist it the other way. Let's give it a negative value on here. So it becomes wetter as the filter closes and the envelope modulation increases. Go through zero, that uses the default sound and you can hear it becomes drier and you can tweak the tweak the amount to taste. so that the, uh, the knob is in its default position. And I press yes to save all these settings, no twice to come back to the performance screen. And there you can see that knob A is, is uh, in the 12 o'clock position is where I, where I set it. So um, there's my performance. Now knob A becomes itself again. I can rename it. Press function perf again and pick rename and I'm going to rename A and and there I can give it a I don't know, some nonsensical name. Anyway, what whatever you want to call it with some yeah. Now unfortunately you've got more characters here than than will actually show in the performance screen. So if I if I go to uh, come out of it by pressing no. You can see it only shows three characters. So you have to make sure that you understand your naming within those three characters. Now you have to remember to save this to the current kit. So I'll just uh, save that. Kit saved. It's important to understand that that these settings are part of the kit, not part of the sound. So you, you, you do have to remember that. You can see how flexible this is, and, and you can program up to 10 knobs to control the sounds on your four synth tracks and the FX track and the control voltage track if you want. It's very powerful indeed, and a unique design. The Analog 4 is a very special synth, and thank you Electron, and thank you for watching.